everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload today I'm going to do empty videos that means that I'm going to show you what products I finished and uh, what products I used for the last two, three months, what I like and what I don't like. Would I repurchase it or would I not do that? Well, I never did this video before. There is two reasons. The one, I'm, I'm very bad with using the whole product. Often I use almost everything and then I forget about the rest or I don't like it, I throw it away. So I don't know why I never did these kind of videos, but my friend Valerie on YouTube, she uh, does these kind of videos and I love them. I w love watching all empties videos. I watch everyone's, everyone that I know and heard about on YouTube. So I thought, why won't I do something like that? So here we are today. And if you're interested to see what products I'm talking about, please keep on watching. The first product uh, that I've used and that it's empty here. It's Kevin Murphy's Restore Repairing Cleansing Treatment. Uh, this is something I really loved. This is uh, this was something in my favorites, and uh, I've used it. This is my second, and I did like it, and it did make my hair feel soft. But my hair it was so damaged that this really didn't do the things for my hair that I really really wanted so it's a good product but I think if you have more damaged hair and your hair needs a lot of help this won't do it helps to straighten and repair hair damaged and bright colored treated hair my hair was damaged and I do color it a lot so I thought this would help it did a nice job but not great so would I repurchase this? Definitely. Maybe not right now because I have a lot of products for my hair that I'm using right now and my hair needs something more and my hair needs more help than this could give me. So I will definitely repurchase this in the future, but not right now. Okay, the next product that I've used for my hair is this Head and Hair Heal Shampoo from Maria Nilla Stockholm and this is 100% vegan and culture free. It also something for damaged hair uh, I got this in my glossy box I also got the conditioner now I do have a little bit of the con conditioner left so I want to use that up but I did use this shampoo and I did almost lost it <laughs> I did like it so I do like this shampoo and it did make my hair feel soft and I liked it when I use it so will definitely repurchase this when I finished my other one that I use uh, I do like it. It is an expensive brand. It does cost a lot, but I do like it. So definitely something I will repurchase. And this is culture free for those who are interested in that. I like cruelty free products. I do like them. I can't say that all products that I use are cruelty free. They are not, but uh, I do like when they are. Then I used uh, this Dove Hair Therapy for damage solutions, intensive repair one minute into sim bomb yeah i know what to say about this product i really didn't like it i didn't feel like it did anything for my hair uh, and i did empty this packaging it there is nothing left in here i, I won't repurchase this it was a, t a long time ago but i didn't feel like it did really anything special for my hair so yeah not my favorite i don't know i just i love dub products but this damage solution intensive repair product really didn't do anything for my hair. And then a product that I al already talked about on my channel, I, mean, I think too many times, but I did finish it. And this is Echo Tools Makeup Brush Shampoo that I hated. I love Echo Tools products, but, and I do have a couple of their brushes, but this didn't clean my brushes at all. And I didn't like it. I didn't like it and I won't repurchase this one. I talked about this so many times on my channel so I don't need to bring this one again. I just wanted to show you that I finished it and didn't like it. Then something else I got in my glossy box for a long time ago and this is I think the... I got this three times and I did use them once. I think I gave the other two away. Uh, to a friend that likes this product. I don't like it and it didn't work for me. This is. Uh, Dio Spray, Panos, Panos Emporio, Coco, Coco Sun, 
and this this smells weird I didn't like the smell of it I didn't like how it felt like deodorant deer spray it <laughs> felt so cold on my skin and it does has alcohol and I don't like that in the uh, deodorants I don't like when it, there is any alcohol in it and it made my, me break out under my arms it made my skin dry and itchy and I didn't like it and I won't use this again and I have to say that this one isn't empty and I'm not going to use this I just don't like this product and I want to buy it then we have this Intim daily wash for all day freshness perfume free uh, Intim uh, daily wash I really like this it made me feel fresh and clean and I don't like using soap on some of my body parts I do like to use something very nice and without perfumes so I do like this product and I'm definitely going to repurchase this one okay uh, the other product that I've used is this Batiste I think dry shampoo tropical coconut exotic tropical uh, I I don't know I like the smell of this product but I really I don't like this one I don't know I heard so many people talk about this and that's what I bought it and wanted to try it but I didn't like it my hair felt greasy and uh, I don't know I just felt like I had something weird in my hair it hair felt dry and it felt unhealthy it is unhealthy but it felt worse and I didn't really like this dry shampoo so maybe this one tropical didn't work I know I tried a couple of others and they weren't as bad as this one I don't know if coconut one is bad but I just didn't like this one and I won't repurchase this this one is Anastasia Brow Wiz in shade medium medium brown and uh, yeah this one is empty I liked it I used it would I buy it probably maybe I'm not really sure uh, I think it's a little bit expensive and you then don't get a lot of product I've used this very fast and I don't know I just think there is probably I love the pen it works good but there there's so little product in this one so probably buy it in the future I don't know I just found something else that works as good as this one but it's a little bit cheaper so I won't say I'm never going to do that because I did like the product but if I have to choose between this and something else I will probably try that other product the other product that I will definitely buy again uh, it's this benefit precisely my brow pencil from benefit I love the packaging I think it looks better than brow is I uh, know where the spoolie is and where the actual pen is I love this one the only thing I don't like it's it didn't last me long and you don't get so much product in here that's what I think so yeah I will definitely repurchase this but I think I'm going to try other products to see if I can find something else that it's more affordable okay then I've used this Pantene Pantene dry oil with organ oil smooth and sleek 24 uh, lightweight smoothness this is dry oil for the hair I did like this product I did use it I think there is just a little bit left of this one I won't use it up uh, but I did like it I won't repurchase this because I have other hair oils that I like more but this is not a bad product it didn't cost a lot and it's a good what I liked about it is that I like the feeling how my hair felt with this product it didn't feel greasy or oily or weird it felt very nice and very soft and looked fresh so I do like it I just won't repurchase because I found other products but if you want to try definitely do that because it's not a bad product okay two last products uh, my lava art compact cushion foundation this is the empty one I already have the new one in I like this one I it's what I have on my face uh, today and this makeup I had for 15 hours so 15 hours I, it's very late and I'm very tired but I really wanted to do this video for you guys I like this foundation and I already have three new in my drawer so I do like this one 
definitely will purchase this. Only thing I don't like about this foundation is that it didn't last long. I mean, this last me maybe, I've used it every day for two weeks and then it was empty. So you don't get a lot of product in here. 15 grams, he says. I know how much you get in other foundations, but um, 15 grams, that's not a lot of product. So I would definitely repurchase this one, but the only thing I don't like about it is that you don't get a lot of product in here. Okay, and the last product that I have, uh, a product, the last, empty, that I have is this uh, Thrombore Scandinavian Mood Deluxe Face Cream Day and Night Moisturizer that I loved. I talked about this before, it's empty, I'm sad it's empty, but I did like it, I love the smell of it, I love how it feels on my skin, and I'm definitely going to repurchase this next summer, because I think this product worked for my skin better during the summer, not as much um, in the fall and now when it's colder outside, but I love this one and definitely going to repurchase this uh, Thrombori Scandinavian Mood. Now this cream is also for men and women. That was everything. I hope you like this video. Please give a thumbs up if you want to see more of this. Don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!